Hello and welcome back, connoisseurs of Crusader Kings. We are here once again with King Ricket in Cornwall. We are now friends with both of our two kingly brothers. We do have one more brother that we're not friends with. I just don't know how we could become friends with him. Although I've had it on my mind. I've had it on my mind that it might be cool if we could become friends with Goslin. But because we don't have the actual befriend scheme... Hey, what? who beat you up? You okay? Where are you going? I mean, I could invite him home and then hold a feast for him as well. Could do that. Everybody. Queen Perrienne is very popular. <laughs> very popular among the family. I don't know. I guess she's not. I thought she was friends with Leo as well, but no, I guess they just have their own special thing. That's cool. Which sister is Leo friends with then? I just... It's just... He's friends with my daughter. That's interesting. Okay. He's also friends with my tutor, which is interesting as well. <laughs> and then who's friends with the cruel man? My niece from Brittany. Right? Oh, so he has inherited. So she, my niece is actually now the queen of Brittany. Of course, this is Dunmarth's daughter. As you can tell because she is Inuit. Very good. Because, because we divided ourselves up into three independent kingdoms, our renown is going up at a pretty good rate, to be honest. I usually don't play when the renown is going up this fast. We're probably going to get at least one. We're going to get one more of these in our lifetime, which is neat it's pretty neat that it's going that fast we've done a lot though to uh to strengthen our to strengthen our dynasty our dynasty has really flourished since we've started this game oh Zenor has come of age how well did she do she only got a two that's because i did it well you know sometimes you just want your kids to be close to you he is an elusive shadow. So he got the the event where it says that he did he did bad, but he actually did really good. <laughs> good job, boy. You know, good job as well, Xenor. You know, you did okay. It's fine. Oh, they're not quite old enough to marry yet. Okay. So the next generation is going to be quite interesting. Everything's going to be all over the place. Like, quite all over the place, but that's okay. Not much we could do about that. We wanted to spend this money on so many different things. What do I think we're going to do? Just for interest's sake? I think, not our children. Not our children, our siblings. we got lots of those, too. I think we're going to invite our brother, Goslin, home. Come home, Goslin. You know, you've been traveling the world, world, but I think it might be time for you to come home, and maybe... maybe he'll come with us on our pilgrimage to Jerusalem. I'm kind of hoping he will. I don't know. I mean, it would be really cool if he did. Right? If he came with us on our grand pilgrimage. Oh, that's the Vaticano. That's not right at all. We've been there already. It's Jerusalem that we're heading towards. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So here is the route. It is enormous. We are going on a huge journey. Uh, we're go cutting through Francia. We're coming down here into Italy. We're going through Croatia. We're... Then we're coming in here to the Byzantine Empire. We're making a trip to Constantinople. We're coming down here. Coming over here. Going on down. To there. And then we're going up to here. And then we're going to go. We're going to visit Baghdad and all of the locations near Baghdad. The holy sites. And we come to Jerusalem. 
And then we come down here through Egypt. We pop back in from Egypt. We eventually visit Sardinia. We go all the way around by ocean until we check out this new court up here, which is relatively new since it wasn't there the last time we went. And that is going to be our journey. It is going to be enormous. Look how long this is. We are going to be walking for four years. Four long years. I feel like maybe it's too expensive. I want to bring ceremonial because it would guarantee that my brother comes, but uh, let's hope it's fine. Let's hope it's fine. Got some stuff up here we can do when we go to Cologne too. That's great. So let's go. Let's go on this enormous pilgrimage. We are going to be traveling forever. <laughs> Just literally forever. I wonder what kind of things are going to happen to us on our journey. You know, this one time I might just, just validate going up, going up the speed four for, for this. Washed up. So this family has washed up and uh, we can rescue them. We can have them join our court. What is their faith? They are Jewish. I am not going to force convert them. It doesn't feel like what I would do. So I'm just going to let them join in come on join our court you're welcome come it's gonna be a long journey though because we're probably going in the opposite direction that you were originally planning to so christian architecture we're going through a church in beaumont minor priest wants to give us a tour of the grounds so he wants to show us around this church i will pray to god what a sorry excuse i don't like this one how who would say this so mean no i will join in prayer to God. You know, we're out here crossing the entire world. So our son has had another child who is, compared to his other two children, somewhat mundane. Ooh. We could call him Ververdin. There's been a while since we've had a Ververdin. Yeah, let's name him Ververdin. That's pretty good. And we're just traveling across the entire world, going on a grand pilgrimage all the way to the Holy Land. Pilgrim thieves. So this child has decided to try to steal from this. This is not the life that God wants from you. So we have a diplomacy challenge to try to guide him to a better path. Let's do it. All right. So he is willing to rep repent. You can either ask him to spread the word of Christianity or we can tell him to work hard. What does work hard do? Monthly income? And he joins the court? Or spread religion? I think we're more likely to pick work hard, to be fair. So come along, kid. Join us. <laughs> we, we literally just finished the shrine that we were building in Whitney. Which is kind of neat. Out over here. I think that's right. Maybe it's not. No, that that's Kent. Whitney is this one. Up here. I don't know where this is. Is it this? Where did we build that church? No, it's here. There it is. It's in Oxford. Probably we could build them... Donate money to help them build their... Their monasteries. So let's just do that. It feels like properly pious for being in the middle of a grand pilgrimage. Sending a letter telling them to assist in building a new monastery. And we are looking at the starry skies. And acknowledging the fact that we are here to experience other cultures and enjoy the journey. We are probably at this point one of the most famous explorers and wanderers of all Europe. Especially since we are exalted among men and moving towards living legend. No. I think, although the very first time we got this, we picked this, I think that we've changed in perspective enough that we might just do this instead. No. I'm not worried about this. I'm going to pick the same one as last time. Even though, even though we have become slightly more religious, I think that we, uh... We, we're, we're wink, winking to the fact that our indulgence makes us, indulgence makes us immune to the possibility of a uh, of the world coming to an end mostly we just don't believe the world is coming to an end 
travel language bear so there should there's no event here because i'm not at the court i'm just popped when i'm not there so language barrier so this guy could give us directions but he only speaks italian vulgar luckily i speak so many languages you know i have the trait that gives me two more languages and i haven't even looked for any so let's just take a second and see if we can are there any languages that i don't know that are relatively near me Yeah, no, not right now. We'll have to figure it out later. Healthy now. Safety in numbers. So this guy is a lioness. He's from our homeland, and he wants to come with us to Jerusalem because it would be safer. I absolutely would let him join us, I think. Yes, you can join our pilgrimage. Come along, sir. You are welcome. Heading down through Bulgaria now. Another road. This is a roadside shrine. We could take the money, but that's that's not good. We could tear it down because it's orthodox. That's not good. I don't think we would do this. I think we would just move on. Hard workers while traveling through Zeman. While traveling through, Zeman shares some pithy wisdom. Well, you see, the trick is to just put your back into it and don't stop till the job's a good one. All right. So this would give us the ability to get minus 1,000 prestige if we try to become industrious. And this uh, gives us 40 free development. I think that's, that's good. That's very good. So our friend Girth died. Ah, it's sad when your older friends start to die, when you become an old person, you know. 28, that, that literally pushed us to 28. There's literally two more points of development before we need to start worrying about having the money on hand for paying for this. Uh, our grandson? We'll find an educator for him, yeah. That's fine. You know, if he took up learning, we could educate him ourselves, and I think we will. We're not going to change his culture, though. You know, I, I have no problem with him remaining the culture of his father. That's acceptable to me. Uh, Rudnick, mining settlement. We have visited it and gained stewardship experience. So we are on a pilgrimage. He's getting lost, so we need to figure out what we're going to do. So I know the way to Jerusalem like the back of my hand. We're going to do that. Keep on the road. This is already a very long journey, so getting getting ahead is a good idea. I'm always up for a challenge. What is this? Gives me things I won't use. The high altitude and brisk air of Bel Or Gadachuk. I don't know how to pronounce that. Has a very refreshing quality as we traverse the local hill fort. The soldiers in the valley below appear to be practicing some type, rare type of training technique I haven't seen before. I'm moving closer, failing to restrain my curiosity. While doing so, I am approached by a local captain. Would you like to join in, my lord? No, I'm not interested enough in this military endeavor to pay for it. None of these people are, are my better commanders either. This is my son who is... Uh, a little too stabby to be a good commander, and this is my caravan master, I believe, and he's... Oh, he's my bodyguard. Mm, yeah, but he's not a commander. No, no. Thank you. It was fun to watch, but no, no, not for us. Uh, my liege, our integration effort in the Duchy of Kent are going very well. In fact, we might be able to try and impose taxation practices of the Kingdom of Cornwall on a limited scale. Perfect, make it so. so. That's 15 extra points of drift. Lose 15 points of drift. Prestige. Uh, gain the 15 points of drift. That would be very useful. Thank you. No, you're doing better than I expected you to when you forced me to put you in that job. But I'm very happy about it. So we're going to head up to the capital of Bulgaria. Make a little bit of a visit. 
More stewardship experience gain. We've become sick. But our doctor is with us, so we will just ask her to fix it. Thank you for making us not sick. I don't need to look at this again so soon. I, there's nothing new up there. A foreign treat. So who is this woman? This is just my courtier. This is... it. Are you... What? <laughs> I thought I thought it was your husband that came with you, that that you joined with. Or is it just some random guy? Or are you just someone I don't? Oh yeah, I think you're the person from the event. But uh, I thought that was your husband. It appears to be neither your husband or your father or any relative of yours. I don't have a problem with that. You know, uh, follow your heart. You're not an essential member of our court, so you can go ahead and follow your cart. Uh, danger, tempting fruit. Oh, Goslin. This is so you. This is so you. I remember tales from when you traveled with our father eating random fruit. I'm just gonna let him do it. And he gained unknown plant this, which is what I think happened to him last time. This He's learning nothing about eating random fruit. He thinks it's a good thing. Spy masters come to me with grave news, but we do not know who, yet know who someone is planning to kill my knight, Gilbert. Uh, uh, let me know when you have more information, friend. Let me know when you have more information. All right, that will be a stewardship perk for sure, because almost all of the l recent ones of these have been stewardship. Uh, we almost always hire the guard. He's spindly, but still a good warrior. I'm going to hire just him. I don't want to hire a whole bunch of people. Let's find out what our stewardship perk is going to be. Professional workforce. We're actually getting to the point where we're almost at centralization without having ever been a steward at all. And we are finally up here. We have reached Constantinople, one of the many stops on our journey. 600 martial experience. Uh, that's interesting. I think we'll take man's home because this is just good for anybody, be they a warrior or not. We've gone to Hagia Sophia. We're getting close here too, to a learning perk. It's nightfall and Sophia is hard at work when we arrive at the cereal field self of Redestios. She appears to be flat flattening uh oh. Um She's a heretic, but she's a heretic to a religion that I have no concerns with, so you do you, I guess, young woman. This is the calm clearing. We can rest here. We'll rest here. Take a breather. Think about our life. We finally won this war that we helped with at the beginning, and uh, that's good because... We should have. Reflections, earthly contemplation. I will make the most of my time. So we are thinking. Silver hair and wrinkled skin always seems so distant until they came to me. I can't help feeling that this pilgrimage may be my last before I take the ultimate journey to heaven. I hope not. You've still got one hole more to do, but and it's a close one too, my friend. If you're going to get all of them in your life, you've still got one more to do. Um, I still have so much life to live for, so this will cause me stress if it fails, but there's a 60% chance that it gives me... I remember this one. This is a medium health boost that also gives you more stress. These ideas make my heart ache. No, we're going to try. We are driven to survive. That will make us live even longer, probably. We are fine. We are fine. Boiling with anger. Our son is angry. Well, we find some peace with it. He tried to obtain his gold, but failed. Yeah, he's a little frustrated. I can see why. Develop capital. Yep, we are in a great position to continue developing our capital, and we built those lookout towers. We have the money that we should probably come back here right now and just uh, build the second building here, which should also be something that raises men-at-arms probably oh yeah it's because of that again it's the thing where the thing underneath it makes you can't move it i could do militia camp which gives me archer damage 20 percent 
or I can do the blacksmith, which gives me any men at arms 10% and holding taxes. I think we're going to go with this. So the holding taxes I think would be more useful and the night effectiveness is good too. Can't quite pay for it though. So we'll just hang out here until a month, until we get to the next month. Now we can pay for it. We have reached the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. And we have gained stewardship experience again. The Tears of St. Nicholas. Even when on pilgrimage, the priests still hold mass every Sunday. So this is the 25% chance to become ill because we because we watch the prayers in the rain. No, no, we are a good Catholic, but we're not that good a Catholic. We do not like getting sick, that's for sure. Especially, especially in the middle of a long, long, long journey like this one. We still have so far to go. It's the Empires of Rest Yesteryear event. We almost always pick this. We picked this one last time, and I think there's nothing to make me believe we would change our mind. So we'll pick it again. Ah, we contemplate the brevity of Empires. We gain some Imperial Contemplation. And a new lifestyle perk for learning, which puts us at the top of whole of body. Pause this for a second and think about this. Now that we've reached the top of whole of body, do we... Do we push for Scholar? Or do we head over here to stewardship? Well, we want centralization. The only other thing we could do is this. We could try to grab Patriarch. That might be an idea. That might be an idea. Let's... Let's do that. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to head over here. We'll leave this be. This is enough there. We'll hopefully be able to get centralization through travels. Hopefully. Maybe not because we hit most of the uh, stewardship ones at the beginning, but there are a couple in France we can get during the last pilgrimage. And here we are. We have traveled so far and so long. I don't think we're going to be spending much more money. We've just gone to the mosque of Samara. Baghdad, the Royal Quarter. Passing through the gates of Baghdad, it is hard not to reflect on having reached the traditional center of the Arabic-speaking and Islamic world. The outskirts of the inner city, I find myself surrounded by minor palaces, kitchens, baker and bakeries. Towering above us at all times is the green dome of the Palace of the Golden Gate. My caravan leader, Geldwin, glances at me thoughtfully. My liege, we could spend some more time here to study their customs. So this is stressful because we're crazy, right? We're delayed by 14 days. We could get 500 diplomacy experience. We could gain a pit point of diplomacy. We're almost, we are in fact guaranteed to get a good result. So I think we do this. Let's learn what we can here. 16 stress isn't that much. And we gained the experience. So we will grab groomed to rule first and pilgrimage infidels brigadage yes we have a lot of children so this is going to be a very big list our many children have gotten many traits our son has increased his marshal our heir i should say marshal diplomacy only one marshal for our second son Ooh, three diplomacy for the queen of I think she's the Queen of Germany? Yeah. One Marshal. Two more stewardship for our already excellent steward. Nice, nice, nice. And a bunch of... A bunch of intrigue for our two stabby twins. Ah, the leader swiftly blocks our route, rearing his horse and announcing himself as... Seifula. Fear not infidels, the marvels of our holy city await for a small fear. If you want gold, come and take it. There's no need for violence, let us talk. 
This has a 90% chance to save us the gold. But a 9% chance to double the amount. And we have talked to him and gained piety for not resorting to violence. And of course, since not resorting to violence is our way, we've also gained self-assurance in our own beliefs. Oh, more learning experience. We've basically, we've basically traveled the entire world at this point. There's places beyond here, but we're not even really aware of those places. I've rarely seen my Archbishop Filbert this excited before. His eyes seem to be devouring a richly adorned book. My liege, there are rumors that the land of Rahab is home to the, an extraordinary people. It is said that the Sketopodes, dwarf-like creatures with a single large foot, wander these cities. I must see them. Tell me about them. Gives me learning for five years. I must see them. Gives us some travel speed, but makes us more endangered. No, I think I think you can tell me about them. I'm terrified of the idea of meeting some one-footed dwarf out there. So this is the ant path, of course. Yes, we will avoid the ant path if you insist. We're not in a rush. Oh, we are kind of in a rush, actually. It's really far. No. Take our time. Grotesque disappointment. Every time we get to a new settlement, I take a moment to look around trying to find the grotesque creatures that I've seen in Filbert's maps. The curiosity is simply too big. When we arrive at Der Araman, he comes to me grasping book tightly. My liege, we followed all the indications, but these creatures are nowhere to be found. It has occurred to me that they may perhaps be no more than an invention. Oh, okay. That's not cool. I don't want that. Ah, uh, no. We'll, we'll take the stress bonus. I think it'll just balance out our extraordinarily resilient character. We've almost reached Jerusalem. This is a this is a pretty big deal. This is like the biggest the biggest pilgrimage you can possibly make. We visited the Grand Temple. Reflection starry skies. Ah. <sighs> You've already committed to being worldly on this one, so we'll just reinforce it. No other city in the world has a history quite like Jerusalem. In addition to the many other holy sites, there is a city. There is. The city contains the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, built over the combined places where Jesus was crucified, buried, and resurrected. We did it. We have made it to Jerusalem. We have crossed the known world. Well, we've crossed much of the known world and come to this holiest of holy places. One of the great ambitions of our life. The echo of my own. So this is the alone in the church with the blue, blue sky. We can pray or we can do the beautiful arcs. Let's do the beautiful arches. Ah, oh. we're 60 years old, we're feeling fine, no reason to think that we're not going to make it for several more years. We're not as smart as our great, our grandfather who was known for, her great grandfather who was known for his intelligence, but we're pretty up there. And we are not yet a religious icon, so we may surpass him. Okay, so this guy wants me to buy a piece of a relic. He wants me to buy a relic? The skull of St. John the Evangelist? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is real. I don't think it's real. I'm not convinced that you have the skull of an ancient saint just like in your little alley shop to sell to the first guy who walks by. Okay, and this is the investment one. We are definitely going to take the expensive wares because if you can afford them, it's always worth it. Jerusalem, it's been an honor. So there we are, 46 learning because of finally reaching religious icon. That's really good. Let's just clear this. We're leaving Jerusalem now. 
having done a really good job as a pilgrim coming out here to the most important pilgrimage that you can make as a Catholic all the way to Jerusalem and we have to make the journey home but I think that's going to be for next time yes we're going to finish our pilgrimage here oh. travel dangerous interests every morning since we reached our Ramla my Archbishop Philbert leaves his litter silently and glides away from my sight this time I decide to follow his path and find him in a lively chat with the local Sheik Duad. Uh, the ceremony begins. So he is discussing alternative religious ideas with this Muslim man, but we, being a wise man, I think we would debate him. We would debate him. We would try to win him over by debate, being as wise as we are. That being said, we have... We're going to put this episode to an end. Thank you very, very much for joining me. We're starting to draw close. Like, very close. Very close. Once we have the university built, we will probably finish out... Uh, we'll probably finish out Rickett's life if it seems relevant to do so. If I can figure out stuff to do, maybe at the end, that's where we'll do his very last pilgrimage to Clone. Uh, we have one more point of development to get before we reach the end. It's kind of exciting, and it's kind of... It's it's kind of sad to think that we're not going to be with these people much longer. But, you know, in the future, we may come back and visit them for some kind of, like, short update. I think that might be fun once some time has passed and uh, we've moved on to other games. 46 learning. What a man. What a what a successful scholar. You know, you wanted to be an iterant scholar and you've done it. You've gone to Jerusalem and you've done everything else that you could think to do. And uh, just before we end this episode, because I thought that might be what this was, we are going to officially consecrate our bloodline. Adding once more to the great prestige of the Kernu dynasty look at that we have become the anointed we gained the trait paragon and we gained 500 more renown pushing us over the top for getting our next point of renown and we said we were going to put it up here in respected traditions but you know maybe after everything we've done and gone through maybe we do take true believers after all I think so. And I hope to see you next time when we join King Rickett in the final stages of his push to turn Cornwall into the great western jewel of Christendom when we found our powerful house of learning here in Oxford. Goodbye for now. <laughs>